Let me ask you a question. Do you think you really need a Gmail account to be able to enjoy Google Drive, the Hangout, and so on? Or is there another way around this? Because many of us have our own domains and emails that go with it. Or we work at an organization that has its own unique email, such as schools. So how do you get around it? If you've got a website, how can you possibly use Google Drive and so on with your account? And this is how it's done. You can actually get a Google Apps for your business or for education. This is how I did it, and I'm going to show you. All right, I have a website called Integrating Technology for Active Lifelong Learning. This is the domain, okay? Integrating dash technology dot org. Now, what I did was I created a Google Apps for this particular domain website. And let me show you what happens. Okay, once you create it, you uh, enter your domain name and you click on go, which is what I'm going to do. Click on go. And here it is. This is where I'm in as admin. Now, if you can't access your account, of course, you can uh, be notified. Notice I can create other accounts. Let me sign in. Okay, the wrong one. So in this case, I may need to go in and see how I can get my password back. Okay, but in the meantime, let me try again. Let me try this one. I've got a lot of uh, passwords. Let's see if this one works. And it did, and I'm in. Okay, this is my account on Gmail. Notice it's not a Gmail as such account. In other words, it doesn't look like one. Okay, this is what it looks like. It looks like a regular web site with admin at the beginning. All right, so let's take a look around. Okay, this is just the uh, Google Drive. It's got everything that I need. I've also added my logo, okay, for integrating technology right here. I can compose email and so on. Okay, so um, let me continue and show you what else is available. Okay, and I'm going to go back to show you. Now, if you, as you can see, I'm going to show you over here. Okay, on the right, this is for settings. I'm going to open that up, and this is what I have. Manage this domain. Now, a regular Gmail does not have that. Okay, so let me go into manage this domain. Okay, so this is my back end. Okay, and I notice I've got a few people here. This is where I can create emails for others, for other users, and take care of my emails. All right, so notice here I can set up different things. I have my domain settings, organization and users, and I've got a few users. I've got my, I've got a few emails for myself. Notice here. You also get support in case you need it. Okay, so I'm going to go into domain settings. So you can take a look at that, and then. This is where I can take care of the organization name. Contact information admin is my primary administrator. I can provide a note to users. And then I can go into user settings. Okay, and uh, adjust passwords 
admin roles. Okay, the privileges, of course, I gave myself all the privileges, but if I'm creating a user, I might give them less. Now I can also create a new user role. Here it is. And so on. So it's really useful. And if you don't want a Gmail with gmail.com and so on at the end, this is your chance. So I hope this has helped. You're welcome to ask questions and um, email me for further information. Thank you.